Hi guys, welcome back to Ribbons and Relics. I am so excited. I just got an Amazon package delivered and this is what was inside it. I've been waiting for this for a while. Um, I ordered this on Amazon. It's called the Iris, I-R-I-S, 4x6 Photo and Craft Keeper. Um, it was $27 on Amazon. I saw a while ago um, when I was searching for how to organize die cuts and embellishments for scrapbooking, a lady who had gotten one of these from Michaels. They do come in smaller sizes. This one has 16 of these little individual 4x6 compartments. They just have a little tab that you flap open and close to lock it. Um, I, you can just buy these containers. Um, and like I said, you can also buy like maybe a half size of these. But the first time I, I came across it was just recently. I was at Hobby Lobby and I saw one of these on the shelf. And I did originally just have I think I had like five of these containers in the cart and I was just going to buy these containers because let me show you how I am organizing my die cuts currently. That's right. I have a pile over here of die cuts in sandwich and snack baggies. This works, but I just, I don't like it. It's kind of messy. It's not very organized. Um, so I think this is going to be much easier to actually access the things and to actually look through them and see what I have in there. I think it's going to be a lot easier than trying to just thumb through a sandwich bag. But um, anyway, I ran across one of these at Hobby Lobby for $35. And I immediately on the spot got out my phone and pulled up my Amazon account and saw that I could get it on Amazon. Free shipping, $27. So I went ahead and ordered it. Um, and then I happened to be at Joann's a little while later and they were like $42 at Joann's. So I'm really glad that I got this on Amazon. Um, let's go ahead and get started because what I wanna do with these is I do have a label maker and I'm going to label each one of these and I'm gonna start with my mason jar punches. I just got that mason jar punch I spoke about in another video and I've just been taking scraps of paper that I have and punching out mason jar shapes. So now look how much easier that's going to be to actually sort through and see what I have versus trying to use that bag. So now I have one and also I can just kind of okay I like this one I like this one. These are all going to be good for the layout that I'm doing currently. So I can just kind of set them up there. And then when I'm done picking them all out, I can take them out, use them, put this away back in my case. I love this thing. I'm so happy that I got it. I have my banner flags. I have a ton of these. I would say that I use these the most. These are my favorite. These and the scallop punches I use a lot. And I might need to use some of these. I might, I might be at max capacity here in this little container. Maybe not. I think I can squeeze some more in there. But I know that I'm gonna have a whole bunch of containers left over. I probably couldn't have could have gotten away with just getting the half size one but I know I'm gonna fill it up. And I know that I have a lot of other things. I don't have to just use it for punches. I can probably use it for a lot of my pre-cut um, two and a half by three and a half pocket letters that I already have cut out that are just waiting to be used. And those will be a lot easier to access in here. On I know right where they're at, I can be able to just go right to them. Look at that. Look how easy that's gonna be to just kind of sort through and see what I've got versus trying to you're trying to thumb through one of these baggies and see what's in there without everything falling out on you. It's not the easiest. So I can't wait to get this label maker out. 
I actually um, got it as a gift for my husband for Father's Day. He asked for one. He may eventually have some videos on this channel. I'm kind of the ribbons and he's the relics part of ribbons and relics. Um, but I got him a label maker for his Father's Day gift, which he has already opened. We're just those people that we, we order our gifts for each other on Amazon. We each create a wish list. We then tell the other person, okay, I've got everything I want on my wish list. And the other person can go and pull the wish list up and go ahead and, and get the gifts. And then as soon as they arrive, we just, we open them. That's, that's how we are. We've always been that way. Um, we've been trying to not be that way around Christmas time. We try to save all of our Christmas gifts for under the tree, but as far as most of the other holidays, we usually just, when it gets here, we open it. So anyway, I got him this label maker and we were at Target and he picked up some batteries for it. We got home and they were actually a wrong size. He got double A's and we needed triple A's. So we still need to go out and get some more batteries, which I'm probably gonna do today. I have some grocery shopping that I have to do today. There's all my scallops. This is probably, like I said, my probably most used punch, the scalloped edge circles and the banners. So if you're just starting out with scrapbooking or pocket letters, I would recommend definitely getting those two punches, the banner shape and the scallop edge circles. I started, I actually kind of stumbled across pocket letters because I was looking up like scrapbooking layouts and embellishments. I had just started Cole's baby book. Cole's four years old. Yes, I just started his baby book. <laughs> I admit it. But that's how I stumbled across pocket letters and I actually have been doing pocket letters and still haven't finished his baby book. So <laughs> that's something I still need to work on. But I did get all the pictures and everything printed out for that, so that was that was probably the hard part. The rest is just creating and decorating and the fun stuff. There's all my just circles. I'm so excited to have this. And I just wanted to share it with you guys because any kind of organization that I can find, I absolutely love. And like I said, the price that this is on Amazon, you really can't beat it. At least I haven't seen anywhere where it's been beat. These are all just little scraps from just other products that I've done. And I've had these extra scraps left over. And I can keep these and reuse them. I can turn these into those little banners where I just cut the little triangles out of the edges and just reuse them. I reuse these kind of little strips a lot. So I have a whole bunch of these. And here's all my actual, that was all my punches. Oh, I still have stars. Filling these up pretty quick. I'm glad. I'm glad I got the double size one. I guess I couldn't get away with just the half size. There's all my stars. My star punch. I don't use this one very often, but I still like it. I'm glad that I have it. All right, now all of my die cuts I have. And actually the, the lady whose video I watched, um, she had all of her stuff organized by color. And I don't, I have all of mine organized by, like this is floral, this is all floral stuff. Everything has flowers on it in some way. This is all floral, flowers cactuses, anything, <laughs> anything that would be in a garden, all kinds of flowers, just flowers everywhere. So see, I feel like stuff like this would be hard to organize by color. Like what, what color would you put that in? Red? That could be red. That could be orange. That could be green. I mean, this obviously would be like orange or fall. Even you could do like a, a season seasonal decor. 
which I do have some of my stickers organized that way. Like I have a holiday section for my stickers. But some of these I just, I don't know what color they would, they would go under. But whatever works for you, you know, you have to figure out how you like to do it and what's going to be easiest for you and do it that way. So there's all my floral. I can't wait to get all of these bags out of here. <laughs> this one is kind of like my miscellaneous. So there's a lot of different stuff in here. There's like a clothes hanger. There's a two-seater bicycle. <laughs> there's houses. There's a clipboard. There's a little couch. A cloud. I got quite a few different patterned clouds in here. Another bicycle. Um, I have some cooking stuff in here too. I think, yeah, I have my cooking stuff in here. I have a little beater mixer. Jarred cherries, pineapple, pickles. Pineapple could probably go in my food because I do have a food category that has like which all of this could kind of go into, so I don't, I don't know. Maybe I need to resort through this here. I have my little garden gnome, coffee cup. Yeah, maybe this is food. This is food and miscellaneous because there's a lot of food in here. There's like mushrooms. There's apples. There's pears. There's beets. So yeah, I think I combined. I didn't have enough miscellaneous, and I combined it with my food category. Which these are all just like packs, just die cuts that I bought. And you can't really see what you're getting. Some of them have um, pictures on the back of what's in the kit, but some of them don't. So sometimes you just don't know what's going to be in there. And then this one is kind of like butterflies and hearts and just kind of girly stuff. just really big die cuts. They're just large. They're all too big to fit into the two and a half by three and a half pocket letter. So they fit in here great. They fit in here really nice. Look at these. These are like little library cards. Isn't that cute? Let's see if I can show you. This does come out, I promise. I just don't want to drop everything on the floor. So these are just really big ones. Kiss the cook, donuts. What does this one say? Happiness is a kitchen full of family. So I am just going to finish up organizing my craft room it's honestly I feel like gonna be something that's like a never-ending process this is all my animals you know you get everything organized you buy bins and stuff that you need everything's organized and ready to go and then you get more stuff and you need to buy more stuff to organize with so I feel like it's something that's just never ever going to be finished like it can get better and better and better it's just something that's going to be ongoing. I feel like I'm constantly going to be organizing, which is fine. I don't mind it. it gives me something to do when I'm not at work or out with the family. So there's all my animals. All right, guys, this was just a quick little video. I just wanted to show you I got this kit. If you guys want to try it, if you think it's something that you might like. Even like I said, start off with you can just buy a couple of the cases if you just have a few things. You don't have to buy this whole big one, you know, depending on how much stuff that you have. You can use this for all sorts of different things. Photos is what it's made for, so if you have a lot of printed pictures, which 
I don't know too many of us that do anymore. Everything is digital now. But this would be a great way to keep photos. All right. I'm just going to finish up organizing and sorting through. And I'll talk to you guys soon.